unlike a standard crane. The boom of the balance crane is continuous frame mortar side to the land side crossbeam. And there is a parallel linkage supporting the trolley girder at land side. The boom hinge, normally at the water side support, is now at the land side support. A fixed hinge at water side allows the boom to rotate for raising and lowering the boom. When the boom is level, the boom girder assembly is supported vertically by pins. At the land side and water side crossbeams, the boom hoist device is on the machinery deck on the girder. By lifting or lowering the girder, the boom goes down or up. The parallel linkage keeps the trolley girder, machinery platform, electrical room, and trolley parallel to the ground. In the stowed position, the apex of the pylons is connected to the land side crossbeam. This connection resists a vertical load and the trolley direction loads on the stow beam girder. The gantry direction lateral loads on the land side portion of the boom and trolley girder are resisted by a lateral support beam that pushes against the upper portal beam. There is a gap elimination device at the end of the lateral support strut to assure firm bearing between the lateral support beam and the upper portal beam. When the boom is level, under the force of springs, the wedge will insert tightly between the anchor beam and leg. This will allow horizontal force in the gantry direction to be transmitted to the leg. The machinery house and electrical house arrangements are also different from conventional cranes. Instead of a machinery house, there is a machinery platform with a removable roof to provide shade from sun and rain. The electrical house is a separate enclosed and air-conditioned house with hatch covers on the roof to allow removal of components. It is located land side of the machinery platform. Cable stays are used instead of a conventional drawbar system to reduce the boom span and a flexure between supports. This system reduces the height, the weight and wind area of the boom. The reduction reduces the water side wheel loads. As a result, the wheel loads are 10% less than conventional cranes at the same size. The advantages of balanced crane include smaller wheel load, smaller uplift force, more comfort operation, more convenient maintenance. When the boom is raised, the girder, the machinery, and electric houses and other mechanical equipment are lowered approximately 25 meters. The gravity center of the girder moves toward water side which further reduce the landside wheel load. In the storm condition, the landside wheel load is about 19% less and the waterside wheel load is about 10% less than conventional cranes of the same size. The tie down force is about 20 to 26% less. The balance crane is especially advantageous for high wind areas. The hinge between the boom and the girder is moved from the waterside lag to the landside lag. Outside the main work area of the STS crane from the outreach to between the legs, this feature significantly reduces the impact to the operator cost by passing the rail connection. Increasing operator comfort, the reduction of impact is also beneficial to the structure and reduces rail cracking and the chronic maintenance work associated with the joint. Besides reducing wheel loads, maintenance convenience is another important feature of the balance crane. When the boom is up, the girder height is reduced, which greatly improves accessibility to the main machinery and service crane lifting efficiency. A service crane services about 80% of the maintenance work of the main hoist, boom hoist, and trolley drive machinery. A mobile crane is used to service big components such as the reducers and main and auxiliary transformers after removing roof panels.